My name is Dee Bostick with Triangle Parenting Support and I'd really like to talk with you today about tips and tricks to use for the first day of school for your children. Well, for the parents, uh, you don't begin preparing for the, your child for the first day of school the first day of school. You really, uh, if it's a, a traditional calendar, you really need to do work all through the summer to be sure that the routine is easy to get back into in the fall. There are lots of fun ways to do that. Uh, the first one's not real fun, but that is starting the bedtime about a week or two ahead of the first day of school because we do get a little bit more lax uh, as parents letting children stay up a little later, sleep a little later, and so it's important to get that little body regulated again to getting up early and going to bed at a, a respectful time in the, in the evening. Keeping the contact with some of their classmates throughout the summer is really important. Go to the orientation programs that schools offer. They usually have uh, meet the teacher night, very important night. You usually take your child that night. Also, they will have an open house night. Some schools want you to bring the child, some don't. So check on that. But any kind of orientation that the, the school provides, be sure and take advantage of that. Kindergartners are so wonderful, but it's um, it usually ends up being really hard that first day for some kindergartners and really hard that first day for some parents because I catch them both out in the halls crying sometimes. Uh, so it's really important to uh, help the child be ready for kindergarten. Kindergarten is not daycare. It is very different. And so some things you might do to prepare them for um, public school or private school is if it is public school, there, there may be a bus ride. So get on the uh, transit system in your city or your town or your community and ride the bus with them and sit next to them and talk about bus safety and how you stay seated when the bus is moving, when the bus stops and the doors open, then you can get up. But just safety tips that there's really not going to be uh, anybody with them that first day if they ride the bus like you would be. And so be sure and give them lots of good, safe information. Also, cafeteria is loud and sometimes hard to adjust to for little ones if they've never been in a cafeteria. So take your child to the cafeteria and let them hold their tray and let them choose their food. It will be hard, but let them do it and give them the opportunity to become more independent in that cafeteria setting and let them take their trash and throw their trash away and put their tray up. So that way it's not a brand new experience. They've already had that experience. Another thing is to have fun and take your child to the playground of the school they're going to go to. And that way they get used to playing on the playground and you can say, oh, you're going to get to play on the slide you love so much. And so there's already a connection built with the school and especially with the playground when, uh, when you have that first day of school. Those were some general tips. Contact your school counselor or your private counselor for more support.